Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a new addition to the channel here. We're going to call this the uh, Home Time Series, is what the heading on these will be, I guess, or uh, what we'll call them anyways. But uh, we are looking at a John Deere D170 garden tractor. So you're on the road there, you know, you're out, you're traveling, and uh, you've been gone home, gone from home for a few weeks, a couple of weeks, two, three weeks, a month, whatever, what have you. You come home and the grass is knee high, the neighbors are looking at you kind of funny. This right here is going to, going to fix that up for you quick and easy. This is the uh, John Deere D170, the largest garden tractor that John Deere makes in the D Series. Uh, comes with a 26 horsepower Briggs and Stratton, Briggs and Stratton extended life series engine. Uh, it's got the nice oil filter. We'll pop the hood. We'll look at that in just a minute. But down here, this is what really makes this baby truck up and uh, get the job knocked out in no time flat. Besides that big motor, is the uh, Edge 54 inch cutting system. This is a very nice uh, steel, all steel deck here. Um, they also they powder coat this that's a little bit more durable than uh, paint but even if you do end up nicking this up you can go down to your local john deere dealer hardware store or whatnot and get some farm implement implement yellow is what they call it farm implement yellow uh john deere spray paint and touch that up even if you do mess it up you got the nice big turf rider big rims big tires uh you know getting around a yard uh quite easy uh they don't they don't tear the ground up uh, at all you know um even you know when you're when you're cutting sharp with this which you can if you uh, make a nice little addition. We'll just, I guess, move right on up here into the cockpit and I really shot a lawnmower review for guys. But right here, you get you a little place to put it, you know, cold beverage, cold drink, whatever. Um, this here, I just I keep the little deck attached, but I don't really use that. I think these things are about used. I get down there and wash it out by hand and I maintain my stuff. But uh, we got, I don't know, lumbar support here and the nice, real nice, real nice seat right here. We'll move right on up here into the uh, cockpit. And uh, this is a little addition here. You can go to, I don't know, like John Deere store, John Deere.com, whatever, where we ordered that from. And this makes uh, cutting cutting grass a lot a lot easier. You grab Batman and you can really cut that wheel and get around, you know, cut them corners a lot better. And you can get around with this big baby. Um, we got our throttle over here on the left. You just throttle it up there as you choke, throttle everything. Here's your PTO. Just engage it right there. This is a reverse implement switch. And um, I don't know what happened. I guess some mice or something got under there and chewed the wires up and. Uh, put them back together and tape them up nice and tight and for some reason the reverse implement switch won't work now so you can mow in reverse without uh, having to press this button and go through all the hoopla of, uh, of doing that mess uh, all right around here you got you know you got uh, headlights all that stuff there uh, you get the service reminder right here um, we got 22.7 hours on this right now showing and that tells you you know when she need when the when the units needing uh, servicing whatnot um, like I said, we done looked at our PTO down there. This unit has got, uh, you got your emergency brake here, parking brake, whatever. Not emergency, but a parking brake, just slip that up right there. Parking brake, and then down here you got your cruise control. So you just mash that all the way down, you pick that up, and you do have a uh, cruise control on this unit. Which is kind of nice if you got, you know, big wide open spaces like I got out here to cut. And we'll exit back off the side of the unit here, move on up, and we'll pop the hood here and have a look at what we got. This is a 26 horsepower, 724 cc Briggs and Stratton extended life series engine. Um, really easy to change the oil. You just uh, you can grab this with your hand here. It just locks in a little plastic thing. It's got a couple of uh, nibs on it there. You just pop it off, twist it off, and uh, let the oil drain and pop it back on. Real easy, you know. No wrenches needed to, uh, to really even change the oil on this. Yeah, spark plugs, everything out and open here. You know, pretty easy to get at. Um, Really, really nice. Uh, 26 horsepower, 724 uh, cc. Nice big, big engine there. Um, take care of it. You know, these old Briggs and Strattons will run forever. I got a little bit of duct tape up here. We did, I have a, uh, <laughs> this place, the uh, little wing nuts that uh, tighten down and hold down the uh, the breather unit there. And I got to get back by John Deere and get a, get a couple of those. But uh, the duct tape did hold it on for the last mowing. So we'll go around here. They call this a uh, JD Loy. Um, this is the material that they make this out of. I don't know. It's like they're, I guess, uh, plastic. <laughs> it's real uh, heavy duty. I mean, you know, I don't slam it around anyways, but I don't, you know, see that breaking up or getting messed up. I've run it into some things here, as you can see, just around the old, old, old home place here. And I haven't, I haven't broken it, haven't busted it, haven't dented it. So that's good to go. Uh, going on down here, you get the uh, Mo Pro. 12 volt battery from John Deere is what they come with. The only addition that I made to this is I ordered the John Deere 1.5 amp slow charge battery charge maintainer. If you're going to be leaving it sitting around, um, you want to keep that mower, you know, going, have it ready to go when you get home. I'm going to jump on it, get you one of these. They just, uh, comes with a little power cord here. And you're just running yourself an extension cord out there in your, in your shop and plug your, plug your mower up when you leave. And it'll be ready to go when you get home, guys. Let's drop that right now. Okay, we'll move around here and we got our uh, more 
cut height right here. It goes into uh, quarter inch increments all the way down from one to uh, four inches. So I you know, generally cut you know about two, two and a half inches around here. Real nice, you got uh, a couple springs here. Real heavy duty springs. Real nice, real cush riding. Best riding lawnmower I've ever ridden on. I mean, this thing rides like a Cadillac. Uh, same thing, those mice have been under here uh, cutting wires and splicing them again. Uh, pesky little critters. You know, those old farm mice around there like to rewire things. But now the uh, the switch, when, where is, you know, if you're cutting on a hill and you were to stand up, it's supposed to uh, cut that off. You know, I guess if, in case you flip the unit or whatever. But uh, those pesky mice have been under there doing their thing. I'll just have to get that in the shop. I'm going to fix it. Uh, four liter, four liter. Uh, um fuel fuel tank right here and the way this works this is neat there's a it's filled up i leave it filled up whenever i leave this actually has got we'll go around the front here has got a scale up under that weighs the fuel as you can see it's full now and as if, you know you use the fuel the weight goes down the scale moves and uh we'll see how that works out actually you know, this works out pretty good pretty accurate uh very nice um we got a hydrostatic uh, transmission in this, as you can see on the other side here. You just got uh, forward and then reverse right here. Hydrostatic, you know, all automatic, you know. You can get up and you can go. Um, on the back right here, these little attachments right here, you can get uh, attachments to go on the back of this to put a bucket, uh, stuff to haul around. You can even get a canopy to go over the top and it would fasten in up here and back here as well. And you'd have like a canopy over the top if you wanted that. You could get it. Um, you got the old crap handles here on the side, so when you're cutting heels, I got a lot of heels to cut where I live at. So, you know, you want to lean out there and uh, grab that. Not a problem. Uh, this thing's heavy enough, powerful enough. It climbs all the hills around here, no problem whatsoever. No, you know, no really uh, spinning out. Um, even if it does, you know, start to spin on you a little bit, just lean over like you do on old lawnmowers. You know, these uh, riding lawnmowers are, you get to go up a big bad hills, a little, you know, grass a little higher, whatever. Um, down here, you got the you old know, towing thing. You can tow some stuff with this. You can run, I think, some light ground engaging equipment with this thing. Uh, nothing too heavy, just like little yard rakes or whatnot. You can go to johndeere.com uh, and check out all their stuff. Uh, up on the front end of the unit here, you got the you got nice, nice headlights. It's plenty bright. You know, I've run around at night up here just uh, messing around on the, old, on the old property here. And then you get uh, the JD170 comes with a big double bar, double rail bumper. And, uh, you know, I have bumped into some things down here in the grass with that. But overall, this is a really, really nice uh, garden tractor, guys. I expect to get a lot of years of service out of this. And I'd highly recommend you, uh, you know, checking these out. Um, Home Depot carries these. You can get them from Home Depot. The John Deere dealer, your local John Deere dealer, sets up all these. So at uh, Home Depot, they'd come out and do that. Lowe's also carries them now. But uh, you can swing on by there and have a look at them. But if you got a John Deere dealer, you know, just swing by your John Deere dealer. I guess it's you know same price that uh, Lowe's Home Depot would. You know, check around. Um, I think we had I don't know like 2,728. I don't know with all the you know, extra little things here that we we bought for it. But uh, like I said, guys, uh, I would highly recommend this. It has cut my uh, yard work literally. I mean, way down, way down. Um, with a 54 inch deck there, big Hawks hostile motor there. Um, you just, you know, you just power right through most everything there. And, uh, you know, I'm cutting probably out here, eh, I'd say about, I don't know, three, about, yeah, probably about three acres here that I've got to cut. And uh, the rest of it, you know, we get with the old bush hog. But, uh, for, you know, around the house here, and around our little orchard and everything. This baby right here will get the job done. Highly recommend it. Go check them out, guys. And we're running way long on this video here, for especially for our little channel. But, uh, you know, I had to get a little bit in-depth here on the old John Deere. So there you go.